Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is a time when we take a few minutes from our busy work schedule just to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today is Ruben Tomkey. Hello, Ruben. Hi, Jenny. Thank you so much for inviting me today. Well, thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Ruben. Actually, uh, yes, I'm in, currently in Ottawa, Canada, but I was born in La Brea, Trinidad. I lived oh. in Hong Kong three years, Montreal 14 years, and the last 20 here in Ottawa. Wow, wow, La Brea. Now that's where my dad grew up. So I have uh, La Brea close uh, to my heart. Yeah, surprise, surprise, eh? Yeah. So tell us, um, how did you get started in your whole artistic process? Well, the greatest influence inspiration is my mom and dad, who are actually behind me in the photo right now. Um, you know, when we were young, they, they were Chinese opera singers. So right up to age nine, our family spent many Sundays traveling from La Brea to San Fernando to go into the theater. Okay. Of course, they rehearsed, but we just ran around making noise in the theater, that's all. Yes, <laughs> yes, exciting. Okay, and at age 20 is when my first real uh, realization of artistic. Um, there was an artist from France. His career spanned two distinctive art periods. His name was René Lalique. Uh, in the Art Nouveau period, which is the late 1890s, yes. um, he was a, a jewel designer and his designs actually got accepted by Cartier and Boucheron. In Art Deco period, which is 20s to 30s, he turned around and became a glassmaker. Oh. And so he combined his artistry with function, well-to-do families collected, used yes, uh, these uh, wares in special occasions and make him a household name um, all around. Yes, definitely. So it, we basically, we had, I gave you a picture of, uh, of our first, the uh, part of my collection, if you have a, a little yes. shot of- Yes, so I will pull art. it up now. Yeah. So it gives you a sense of, of what his work is about. Mind you, this is only one section of the voice. There we go. So this one is called the Archer. It's actually a model that they would put on top of a, a car, the hood. So of course, only well-to-do, you know, wealthy families would do that, but that's a luxury and he was well known for that. Okay. Okay. So that's part of my collection uh, there. Okay, so you did work in glass. Well, I know I didn't actually work, but I collected uh, uh, his work. So oh, okay. it's part of my art collection. Right, right. So, so this, and I show the next one. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, first of all, let me give you a little background there. Uh, midway through my uh, life, one cousin complimented me as a Renaissance man. And she said that is because my life in the live night, so to speak, began with many things. First of all, as a youngster, as part of the National Choir to perform in Queen's Hall on the Trinidad and Tobago uh, Independence Day celebration okay. back in 2002, yeah. After that, going back, uh, traveling with my parents, I, I came to Montreal, became a professional ballet dancer uh, oh. with the Grand Ballet Canadien and the Ballet Jazz of Ottawa. Okay, uh, Ballet Jazz of Montreal, sorry. Yes, yes. And then, there's a period where I became my own family. I had a wife and two boys, Alex and Chris. They're both professional chefs. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I went through the business side. I was an accounting manager, office in nonprofits. And the biggest uh, achievement, of course, is a PR creative director for Polar Bear Diamonds, Canada's first official diamond brand. Okay, wonderful. And, I didn't and, know all of that, Ruben. <laughs> well, you, you, got, you got a man with a lot of history here. That's yes, sure. yes. And you can see why my cousin called me Renaissance man. Definitely. Uh, so under that banner, Polar Bear Diamonds, I was able to show my designs um, um, in New York, Montreal, and Toronto Fashion Weeks. Okay. So I have a picture there to show you some of the works uh, related to that. So, so yes, this one is the first design big you know going big time don't go small right yes this is the, the Keisha Shante suite so you know Keisha Shante uh, very good uh, and um, well-known Canadian singer songstress okay. 
So I designed this for her to wear on the Juno car uh, red carpet, 2007. Uh, she was also she was a, a winner. And this one you can see is basically an 18 karat white and rose gold with, of course, the polar bear um, Canadian diamonds set in them. And mm -hmm. this one, this suite was worth approximately uh, $18,000 at that time. Wow, gorgeous, absolutely another, another brilliant. Piece. Yeah, thank you. Another piece, you have a picture there. So this one, the number, number three, you have a picture there that- uh, Yes, yes, so I pull it up. Are you seeing it? No, I'm not. I think maybe the, maybe you need to get rid of the first one. The number two is still there. Okay, on my screen, it's showing up. So please just describe okay. it. That, that's fine. So it's, it's probably being recorded. So that one is again, uh, a, a big piece. It was, I designed that um, uh, from the drawing. You can see I designed that on my own. Yes. The designer had his own dress. He was doing his fashion show, Andy Tayon from Montreal. We met by accident and I just said to him, hey, Andy, why don't we collaborate and do something? And he says, okay, let's get together. I showed him drawing. He showed me his dress. He said, look, this is going to work. Yes. <laughs> and and we, the, the piece is one of those done in a very old um, fashion style of where you can actually um, transform the, the um, jewelry in this case, you were able to open up the case and tie it onto the dress. Okay, uh, and then yes. the little piece at the bottom there could be removed and become a separate as a pendant for less, you know, less formal days. Right, right. Okay, so it was just perfect. Yeah, and that was shown in Montreal and Toronto Fashion Weeks uh, back then, 2007. 2007. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. So then basically... And it's a diamond as well. Oh, of course. Yes. It's all this under the, under the, bear diamond. the diamonds. Yes. Mm -hmm. This 18 karat uh, gold yes. and uh, diamonds uh, with a, a value at that time was $50,000. Wow. Yeah. Gorgeous work. Very and they all, beautiful. They all got sold, Jenny. They all got ah. sold. <laughs> They had per pedigree, right? They were on the fashion weeks and yes. it, it appeared on TV shows and whatnot. So people who bought it were willing to pay the price. Right, right. Beautiful. So I'll go to the next slide now. Yes, okay. These are the books. Yes, that's right. So basically right now I'm working both as a uh, in an investor and working in a stock market area, but also on the side, I call it, I'm also an author with six books to my credits. So the, okay. the slide you're showing here, the first two, uh, you are seeing the latest um, work in progress. The first one is uh, called um, Master Ruben, uh, Memoir of a Young Boy. Yes. That actually published in 2018, and that's talking about my first 11 years in Trinidad growing up there. Okay, wonderful. The, sec the second one uh, with the uh, triple triptych of myself there is in progress. So that's probably by the end of this summer, I expect that to finish. And that's called Once Again from the Top. And that is going to focus on my dance, uh, professional dance career uh, right there. Okay. There's, a, there's right. a third one to come in 2023, which I, of course I don't have the cover yet, but that will focus on my PR and my design phase. Okay. Yes. The other two are just uh, some pictures of my original. The first one, Ode to China, uh, was Chinese poetry. And, this, and the, the striped one there was uh, on experiences of a lifetime, uh, basically the Orient Express, that very famous train. Okay, excellent. Yeah. When did you um, go on the Orient Express? The Orient Express would be around, let me see, 19, uh, 19, 1990 thereabouts. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's been revived, as you know, and everything. And so you can go on very special um, trips there. Uh, in this case, they actually took us, and the reason why I went, is it took us from Zurich in Switzerland into Nancy. And Nancy, as you know, is the home of the Art Nouveau movement. Okay. And of course, Lalique was a, a big uh, uh, name in the Art Nouveau. So all that tied in together with the Lalique and the Art Nouveau and the Orient Express. Basically, it was a perfect combination. Right, right. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So and then this, this one. Yeah, this one is actually, it's a little bit of bragging rights there. This actually was bought from the Elizabeth Taylor collection from um, auction at Christie's. Um, and uh, officially this year 
it is now 100 years old. So it okay. is officially uh, uh, um, an antique. An because, antique. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the definition of an antique. And so I'm very proud. And of course, you notice there's a dance theme. It's, it's a yeah. Russian ballet poster and everything. So of course, as a former ballet dancer and Elizabeth Taylor being a favorite of many people, obviously that's a perfect choice. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to stop the share now. Thank you so much, Ruben, for sharing your, your life experiences with us. Very, very interesting um, facts that I didn't know about you. So it was, <laughs> it was quite uh, informative and I'm quite impressed with um, your jewelry collection. And in fact, the jewelry designs, absolutely brilliant work. So where can um, our listeners learn more about your work? Well, of course, uh, important is you can Google my name, Ruben Tom Key, uh, in quotation marks, you'll see lots of pictures. So uh, okay. that's very interesting and, and stories too. Yes. And then of course, I have the website, Hill and Gully Publications. Right, uh, I'll put that here in the yeah. video, Hill and Gully yeah, Publications, absolutely. okay. And then also on LinkedIn, uh, so you can, uh, you know, contact me either through those cases and we can figure out if you, if you want to get uh, some of my books or not. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Ruben. I'm going to put all your contact information here in the video. And thanks for speaking to me today on Art Snack. Really appreciate it. Wonderful. And thank you, Jenny. A great initiative on your part. Thank you. Okay. So tune in next time, everyone, for another surprise guest. And uh, you can also check out my website, jennylynnjames.com backslash art jennylynnjames.com backslash art and my Instagram and Facebook pages art by Jenny Lynn James. So see you next time on Art Snack. Bye everyone. <laughs>